Hello friends, welcome back to the shop. Today is Sunday, August 8th, and a beautiful, bright, sunny day today. It's going to be warm in the 80s, but that's August. I am uh, finishing a bowl, actually, of uh, Pegasus in this 7LE, I think this is a 315KS, nice little Prince plot shape. Uh, it is the twin bore stem. I don't know if you can see that. Uh, not my favorite, but nice, nice pipe. I've had it for years. I said, well, I'm going to make a new stem for that someday. And <clears throat> just never got around to it. So I don't smoke it as often as I could because of that. Um, nothing wrong with the twin bore. It's just harder to clean because you need the like the dill pipe cleaners to get in there. The the JB Longs don't seem to do it. BJ Long, JB Long, whatever they're. They're just, I use the tapered ones and the tapered ones are just not able to get all the way down through the stem. But it, it, it smokes well, or I can smoke it well. The one thing about a twin bore stem is that your airway is narrower and you're not getting that funneling, so it will you gotta you gotta sip it more than you would in a, a non twin bore stem. But it's doing the job. So as you saw from the uh the little title screen there. I don't have a lot to talk about today, but I thought I'd just uh, come on and, and chat a bit. And having some uh, 8 o'clock coffee. And I got a problem <clears throat> with my, uh, my coffee. Um, so my percolator is dying. The coffee's been getting weaker, uh, which means the thermostat's going on it. And I had... So... We bought a percolator in probably 1998, somewhere around that time. And that thing worked flawlessly up until about six years ago. And then it started giving me problems. And I replaced the heating element in it. That was the first thing to go. And then it was great for a while. And then the thermostat went. And it, I was having trouble finding replacement parts for it at that point. I don't even remember the uh, the brand, so I, I, it, it was it was either Hamilton Beach or Presto. It was one of those well made. I mean, there's not a lot to a percolator. They're easy to fix if you can find the parts. And you know, you, I kind of fall in love with things, so it was working so well for so long that I didn't want to replace it. So I went and I thought, okay, I'm going to replace it, and because I, I couldn't find the parts anymore, so I had to. So there were two things that I wanted in a percolator. I, I like to have one where the base is separate from the pot so that you don't have to unplug it every time you want to take the pot away. And I want to have an automatic shut off in case I forget to turn the thing off and I go out. You know, I know that I'm not going to boil the pot dry, which, you know, it's, it's not going to set the house on fire. But still, it's just not good to do. I'm going to reload with some haunted bookshelf. So I spent a lot of time looking for that, and you can't find it. You know, they, they just simply don't make them. The one that I had had both of those features. It was a Hamilton Beach. It was also programmable, so you could, like, set it up the night before and tell it to turn on at a particular time. And keep in mind, these are percolators, not, not drip makers or anything like that. So I'm, I'm looking for something very specific, a percolator with those features. Could not find the auto shutoff, but I could find one with a separate base. It turned out to be this really cheap uh, thing that was like uh, Elite Platinum or something like that from Home Depot of all places. So I bought that, and it was great. I, I adjusted to it pretty quickly. It made good coffee. And that's what I've been using for the past six years. Well, over the past week or so, the coffee's been getting weaker. And what that means is that it's not heating up as much. The 
there's really only three parts to most most percolators well other than the structure there's a heating element there is a usually a thermal fuse to to blow in case it does overheat and there's a thermostat that tells it when it's reached the right temperature so the fact that it's getting hot is telling me it's not the heating element and the thermal fuse obviously isn't a problem because it's working so it's got to be the thermostat and I said okay let me see if I can find and you can't find parts for this and then I thought well I'll open it up and I'll see what the part number is and see if I can find it and at that point I stopped and I thought why am I doing this you know part of me I, I like to fight against this disposable uh, culture that we've got where you know everything is disposable you shouldn't expect anything to last more than a few years but the thing costs 40 bucks it worked for six years is it really worth my time and effort to search out the part order it pay the shipping wait for it to arrive <laughs> take the thing apart install the new part put it back together and hope that it works six year ago me would have said absolutely Today, me said, no, <laughs> I'm going to buy another one. So I started the search again. And by the way, the reason I bought the Elite Platinum one wasn't that I thought this was going to be my percolator of choice. It was that I just couldn't find what I wanted and I needed something. So I thought, okay, I'll buy this cheap one and hope that I can find what I want. Well, it worked so well that I never bothered to look for another. And when I looked yesterday... can't find any of those features I, I couldn't find one that had a separate base like I did actually find one that had a separate base but it was like a four cup unit or something like that I don't remember the, the reason I didn't like that one and none of them have the auto shutoff feature so I wound up buying a presto I think uh, which is a plug-in unit so I'm gonna have to unplug it when I take it over to fill which is not the end of the world but it just annoys me and it doesn't have the auto shut off, but it's got very high ratings. It's all stainless steel, you know, all the kind of things that, that I need that are actually important. I bought that for $50. It'll be here on Tuesday. Yeah, I'm, I'm okay with that decision. As you know, just I mean, just based on what I do with pipes, I, I don't like to throw things away. I don't like to consider something disposable. But there's a there's a level of craftsmanship that comes into it, you know, like like this this is worth saving. A six year old generic percolator? I don't know. I doubt anyone put much love and care into the manufacture of that product. So I'll let you know how the Presto performs when it uh, when it arrives. Oh, speaking of arriving, um, you saw last week I did that review of uh, the pipe rack from York Bazaar, and I really love that rack. My wife likes it, so that that's a bonus. Except now she sees how many pipes I have. That's not good. That she never cared before. Now she suddenly is looking at that rack thinking, oh, I know exactly how many pipes are there. And he's got more. So <laughs> this, this is not great. But anyway, uh, we talked about it. We decided to buy three more. And we're going to mount them somewhere. We haven't decided where yet. So I put the order in Monday morning. Uh, and uh you know ordered three so there's a discount associated with that so you know pretty reasonable considering the amount of pipes i'm going to be able to store in these racks they arrived on thursday so very quick shipping um i have not opened the boxes yet um the boxes are the same that arrived with the, with the first pipe so i'm sure that they're the same items uh we're and i'll talk more about this in a minute we're actually going to go on vacation next week and i'm going to be busy this week so i probably will not deal with those wrecks until i come back from vacation so it's going to be a while but uh i just want to let you know that, that i was really impressed with how quickly those things shipped and uh the shipping's included in the price good stuff
So we are going to go on a vacation next week. Uh, don't have the details worked out quite yet, but I'm pretty much going to disappear from your life on <laughs> uh, Saturday. So I'll be here for the live stream on Friday. And then after that, I'll be uh, I'll be gone until probably the following Sunday. So I won't be doing a Sunday video, a Wednesday video, or a Friday live stream on the 20th. However, uh, Skip Kane has offered to step in and do the live stream at 8 o'clock on Friday night. So there'll be links and everything as that evolves, and, and I'll you know keep you posted on it so you'll be able to go find it. But... Um, Skip's a great guy. I'm really looking forward to uh, to watching that when I get back. He's going to do a fantastic job. And I hope everyone that would show up for my live stream shows up for Skip's. Uh, so that's something to look forward to. Although next, this coming Friday, you, you got to put up with me again. Sorry. Uh, let's see. Shop-wise, uh, things, are, things are starting to heat up. I got some pipes in the mail finally. Got uh, one that's just a refurb, uh, and the other is a set of three pipes that all need stems. And I'm, I'm waiting for some feedback from the customer on next steps on those. Uh, so, unfortunately, just because of the way things are shaping up, I'm probably not going to touch those pipes until I come back from vacation. So, the goal right now this week is, and this is going to be a really hectic week coming up, both for day job reasons and also just personal stuff I got to get taken care of before we leave. But my plan is to finish up these cop mods that I'm doing for my friend Justin Aldrich and hopefully get those in the mail before I leave. And that'll be all the shop work between now and then. And those are pretty close to done. Uh, here's an example. This is the little what I'm calling a tomato, but it obviously isn't. Uh, so it's got the cherry shank on it now, and I've got the stem blank. The stem blank is drilled. I just need to shape it. So shape that, um, oil this, glue everything up, and uh, it'll be good to go. So probably going to have a couple late nights down here to get that done, but that's okay. Our plans are, I've got to be, I've got to be in Pittsburgh on the 19th, all right, yeah, because that's my father-in-law's 90th birthday. It was originally going to be that everyone was going to be there this weekend, and they were going to celebrate this weekend, but other people's travel plans got changed. But then my wife decided that she wanted to do something earlier in the week before we went to Pittsburgh. So essentially I had to give up going out to, to the Columbus show because of that. So the Columbus show is this coming Friday and uh, Friday and Saturday. And I really wish I could be there. I was looking forward to meeting a lot of folks, but it just, it just wasn't possible because I'm going to have to be here to, uh, want to get ready to leave and then to leave from here um it's you know I, I can't i wouldn't be able to get back from columbus in time to then do what we're going to do and we're going to go we think and and th this is not finalized yet but we think we're going to go up to cherry state park which is up in potter county pennsylvania beautiful place uh you know very it's called god's country and it really is god's country uh really beautiful and very low uh, artificial light levels so it's a great place to go if you want to see stars and uh you know folks go there just specifically to to look at stars you know telescopes and all that kind of stuff we're just going to go to look up at the sky uh, so we're going to spend a couple days there and then we're going to kind of work our way down there's there's a couple of sites along the way that we're going to stop at but the last stop before Pittsburgh is going to be Bradford, PA, where I hope, if everything pans out, I'm going to be going to the Zippo Museum. 
and I don't know if they'll let me do video there, but I'll certainly you know take pictures and 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 keep you updated on that and maybe i'll put together a little trip video when we get back uh that either has video clips or just pictures you know so it should be fun and then a couple days in pittsburgh and home again home again So I'm looking forward to getting away, to be honest. Uh, you know, as much as I love doing this kind of stuff, there's a lot of other stuff I do that I'm not too thrilled with. Uh, and it's not that I'm not too thrilled with. It just gets, you know, it gets old. You need a break. And uh, that's what I'm going to get. So anyway, as promised, um, this has been nothing special. Oh, look at that. You didn't see on my Friday live stream. That's a picture of Bela Lugosi smoking a pipe back there. Uh, that was sent to me by my friend Michael, uh, Michael Muirhead, who's uh, uh, on, on YouTube. He comments quite a bit in live streams and, and on my videos. And uh, he sent me a really nice package uh, that included that. And I, I'm so happy with it. And I got the Boris Karloff picture from Dean um, and I'm going to get both of those framed and I might hang them on that wall I'm not sure yet what I'm going to do with them because they're, they're so nice I hate to keep them down here in the basement but they're going to they're, they'll definitely come down here for Halloween so that'll that'll be a lot of fun and Michael was also kind enough to send me a uh, fair number of pipes. I didn't count them, but I think there's five or six pipes that he sent. Uh, nice, good condition pipes that he wants me to use for giveaways. And so I'm going to start doing um, some sort of trivia or game or something giveaway again. And uh, we'll, we'll figure that out probably in September, but uh, it's something to look forward to. And there's some nice pipes, so it'll be, it'll be fun and a couple of guys will get a new pipe out of it. So thank you, Michael. I'm going to, I don't want to ramble all day, so I'll, I'll end on this point, but, and you know, you've heard me say, it, you've heard other people say it, but it just, you gotta, you, you can't let it pass by the, the generosity of, of our friends. And, and that's all of us. It's just unparalleled, and uh, you know you get these gifts, and I feel I feel humbled by it, and I feel a bit embarrassed by it, to be honest. I don't want you guys sending me gifts. I really don't. It's it's very kind of you, but I've got so much tobacco. <laughs> I, I really I don't need any tobacco. I've got a, more than enough pipes, and yes, I'm going to be buying more pipes, but you know. I don't need anything. I'm I'm doing this because it's, it it makes me happy to do it, and it makes me happy to know that it makes you guys happy. So there's absolutely no need for you to you know do anything for me. But I so appreciate it when you do. It's it's just such a nice surprise to 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 get something in the in the mail and have my wife think that I ordered something. That's always fun. It's gotten to the point where I open it in front of her and hand her the note so that she can see that it wasn't something I ordered. <laughs> but uh, she she's great. It's good, and and you're all great. And I just I just want to say that you know, I really do appreciate it. But it it's not necessary, guys. There's I get so much out of this. Just being able to do this and being able to read the comments that that's that's enough for me. But thank you. All right, looks like I've finished the Haunted Bookshop here, or at least I'm close to that. And man, look at that. I've talked for almost 20 minutes about nothing. All right. <laughs> you, you all take care. Have, have a, a fantastic Sunday and a great week ahead. And until we talk again, I will look forward to speaking to you all again very soon. Goodbye now.